welcome to my channel in this video we will discuss the need of modulation in telecommunication seeking blessings from sajjal gude shanam menavaru when we want to talk to somebody when the distance is very less simply i can talk through the transmission media air the person will receive the signal will go through the air and the receiver i mean to say another person will receive the information when i have a crowd then i usually use a public address system they i use a mic it will be amplified then it will be given to the speaker so that the voice will be more and each person or all receivers will receive telecommunication means it is a communication at a long distance by technological means particularly through electrical signals or electromagnetic waves examples are radio you have television telephone and many mobile walkie talkie etc will come in the telecommunication frequency means a number of cycles per second for example 1 hertz means only one cycle per second now this is one cycle again it will reach up to 5 cycles per second that time i can say the frequency is 5 hertz as the number of cycles per second increases the frequency also increases and the basic signal is shown one should know the all these terminologies amplitude is a voltage for example in this waveform it is a a frequency number of cycles per second time period is a one hour frequency in terms of millisecond microsecond nanosecond we say and wavelength is nothing but uh, lambda it is represented by lambda is a c by f c is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second it is a speed of the light f stands for the frequency let us consider analogy to understand the modulation now a person want to fly from place a to the place b person will go to the top of the building in the place a and jumps or you can say fly towards the place b what will happen now this person will fly towards the b and whenever he tries he will fell down he will not reach the place b he may reach the hospital in the place a only what's the reason why person could not reach place b very simple because a person cannot fly from place a to the place b similarly when i transmit a audio signal from place a it will never reach the place b or it cannot travel for a longer distance a person cannot fly we know but he want to reach place b and the solution is what simply the person should take help of airplane or helicopter something which will fly from a to b he should sit in that then this will fly then he can get down in the place b so now get in the aeroplane something in the place a get down in the place b simply he can get down in the place b now the same thing we can use the idea to understand the modulation modulation audio signal is nothing but a person if a person try to fly from a to b cannot reach similarly audio signal if it tries to transmit from place a it will never reach b then what to do sir very simple use carrier what is that carrier sir this so that a person can sit in this and it can fly similarly the audio signal can sit on the carrier and modulated signal can fly the process of putting a audio signal in the carrier 
setting this person into the aeroplane is nothing but a modulation. At the receiver or the place B, a reverse process should happen, means the audio signal should be taken from the carrier. He should get down from the airplane. That is nothing but a demodulation. Modulation means change. Modulation is a process of varying one or more parameter or you can say properties of a carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. For example, amplitude modulation means, modulation means change. What you are changing? Amplitude. Frequency modulation, modulation means change. What you are changing? Frequency. Phase modulation, modulation means change. What you are changing? Phase. Pulse amplitude modulation, modulation means change. What you are changing? Pulse amplitude. Like that, pulse width modulation, pulse duration modulation. So, in general, you can remember modulation means a change. Now, audio signal I am giving it to the modulator and modulator will do the modulation, then it will be transmitted. Reverse process will be done at the receiver side. So, this is the amplitude modulation. We have a audio signal, is that about a person? Usually, its frequency is 20 to 20 kilohertz. Carrier wave. Frequency will be 540 kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz, which can travel for a longer distance. After modulation, the waveform looks like this. This is the way how the A modulated wave looks, and this is the FA modulated wave. AM means modulation means change, AM means amplitude modulation, amplitude and changing with respect to audio signal. FA modulation, modulation means change. What I am changing? Frequency. The frequency I am varying in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. And technically speaking, need for the modulation to reduce the antenna height. There is a rule that antenna height should be equal to the lambda by 4. Some particular frequency are transmitting, let us say F. And Height of the antenna should be equal to 3 into 10 to 8 meters per second divided by frequency. If you consider 3 kilohertz as a frequency what you are transmitting, then the height of the antenna is 3 into 10 to 8 divided by 3 kilohertz. It comes around approximately, let us consider 1 into 10 to 5 meters, which is very difficult to consider the antenna of that much of height. As the carrier frequency increases, antenna height decreases. Hence, we go for more frequency for the carrier. Like that, many other reasons are there why we go for modulation. Uh, one is reduce the interference. All will be 20 to 20 kilohertz. For example, AM broadcasting station, what they are transmitting is. If they are transmitting the same 20 to 20 kilohertz, there will be interference. Hence, if we choose a different, different carrier frequency, interference will not be there. Multiplexing can be done. Long distance communication is possible. So, like that you can make a big list for the need of modulation. Voice frequency. Adult male frequency. Can you tell how much is the frequency? Adult male frequency. It is 85 hertz to 180 hertz. What about the female? Do you think is it more or less? Try adult female frequency range is from 165 hertz to 255 hertz. It is not same as male. Hence, many television or radio broadcasting station they prefer female news reader rather than male. Hearing capacity in terms of frequency, human, all of us know what is that? Correct. 20 to 20 kilohertz, but it is a 12 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Dogs, not same. It is different. It is 40 hertz to 60 kilohertz. Bats, try. It is 15 kilohertz to 90 kilohertz. Earth is 20, but bats 90 kilohertz. 
Birds are more sensitive, even they can listen to 1 kilohertz to 4 kilohertz also. And uh, this is about uh, hearing capacities, and these are the references. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. Subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you. Dhanyavadu.